welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back so uh, today my earlier video we reviewed this uh, deluxe propeller pitch gauge from BAM racing and I was questionable about a few things when I was showing you guys how to measure and um, I, I just wanted to uh, thank Sam Hellstrom for helping me out with this um, I think I got it okay so I want to um, to, to kind of correct a couple things I got wrong and measure this H5 I mentioned I didn't know the pitch of this prop because it's uh, labeled H5 and um, I was thinking it was a 1.5 pitch so we're gonna we're gonna measure this prop uh, earlier the earlier video originally I was thinking or I wasn't sure I should say if you should put the tip on the very top trailing edge like you see here like that very crisp corner there or if you should bring it down onto the actual cupped part you see that like right on the edge of the cupped part so basically that's where I'm going to measure that today that's where I found I get the most accurate reading I've done about a dozen props now and converted everything and I'm finding that I'm getting a more accurate reading when I put it right here opposed to up here uh, this one's adjustable this one's constant so you basically drop this constant one down on the blade and then you adjust the adjustable one to make sure there's no light under each pin so that it sets perfectly flush to the propeller it sits right down on it okay and then notice how if you, if you run the the pins down the propeller it really don't change okay so I'm thinking you can kind of get a measurement anywhere in this range of motion and it will pretty much be about the same measurement okay so once you get this set up and you got it where you want it where you're trying to measure the pitch I guess it just depends on what part of the prop you're trying to measure or what part you've modded you know so that looks pretty good to me so what we're going to do we're going to measure my uh my whole my whole measuring stick is broken my son broke it <laughs> my three-year-old four-year-old so we got looks like 0.28 yeah so we got a 0.28 okay so we're going to take our formula we just found D okay D is the measurement you get off the block so 0.28 this is a H5 0.28 divided by the hole we used on on the block which we're using a block we have two different blocks a2 a2 is point one zero two okay so we're gonna go point two eight divided by point one zero two equals two point seven four pitch okay two point seven four pitch and then you actually divide that pitch in inches basically inches traveled divide that number by the diameter of the propeller which is 1.79 divide 2.74 by 1 what was it damn one point seven nine so divided by one point seven nine equals a one point five three pitch okay 
equals a 1.53 pitch. So that's the pitch that we're, 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 we're used to, to looking at, okay? Like an 1814, which is a 1.4 pitch. Uh, this H5 right here is a 1.5 pitch, 1.53 pitch to be exact, okay? Which I was, I was thinking it was either 1.4 or 1.5. So that's how you break it down, okay? That's the equation. So it's D divided by C equals pitch divided by diameter equals pitch. So this first pitch is inches traveled in a perfect world. So this propeller in a perfect world, no slip would travel 2.74 inches for every full revolution of the propeller in a perfect world, okay? Uh, 1.5 pitch travels 2.74 inches would propel the boat 2.74 inches full RPM, no slip, perfect rule. So really useful tool. So I actually measured this TFL 1450. It's not a 50, it's a 46, 1.8 or 46 millimeter. Okay, I measured this earlier. Oh God, where's my paper? And it's actually a 1.45 pitch 264. This is a much slower propeller than the ABC. So um, it's just the design of the prop. It's different. It differs. And this area right here, it's so much different than the ABC prop. But they look identical, right? Basically, basically, basically the same damn pitch, 1.45, 1.53, right? Which this props a little bit quicker. This probably has a lot to do with the amount of blade area, hence the reason I was thinking about detoning it. Okay, so I might as well include this because I'm, I'm me measuring it and whatever, yeah. So this is an Octura X455 that I've detongued and I've kind of worked on the, the, the trailing edge lip here a little bit. So, uh, so I actually was going to use the A block for this prop, but the instruction said to uh, measure the prop in that 75% area. Okay, so uh, this is, this looks, it looks close to 75 but we're going to use the G block just to see what result we get here. Okay. And yeah, it's a little, looks like it's a little farther out. Is it? Let's see. Is it going to be the same? Okay. So it's definitely different. So we're going to use the G block for this larger prop. Okay. So basically going to loosen this up. I'm going to put it right on the blade like we did the last prop. I don't want to get it too far up, but I do want to try to measure this part that I've actually worked on to see if I change the, the, the pitch up any. I got it right on that little lip that I've created. This prop did not have a little lip there. Which I don't think that matters when you're measuring. I guess it does matter when you're measuring the pitch. Okay, so both of them are on the blade. Okay, so this is B block. So let's get a measurement here. Get it at inches. I gotta get another caliper. 
Okay, 0.28. Okay, 0.28. This is a X455. Okay, 0.28. We're using B block hole 2, which is 0 0.085 divided by 0 0.085 equals 3.29 divided by oh you gotta be careful with those pins you don't want to mess them up divided by two point one nine diameter two point one nine diameter equals one point five oh okay so <clears throat> this is a uh, Octura 1.4 that I've actually kind of slightly worked on the, the back edge it's a good prop on my sonic wake I've done some sanding right in here okay and I've slightly modified it you can see this lip back here that this prop typically does not have and like I said I took some material off so it's a uh, <clears throat> 3.29 inch pitch at 1.5 exactly it's a 1.5 pitch prop it, it was a 1.4 and according to my measurements it's it's a 1.5 using the G block and I'm just curious well I, I'll do it off you know what I want to do the a block and, and compare it I, I just didn't want this video to be too long so that's kind of what I got with the h5 the X455 and that uh, Octura uh, TFL uh, 1450. So, yeah, yeah, I appreciate you watching, man. I can't put this, I, I, I can't put it down. I've had it in my hand. I've had it two days now. I got to put this stuff up because I got another boat to build. Um, it's 150 bucks for the setup here. Um, I'm not sure if the A block, I meant the G block comes with it. I think you might have to get that separate. I don't know. But um, you have to email Alan. He, he'll he'll kind of uh, get you pointed in the right direction. You know, um, I think it's going to be an invaluable tool, especially if you're in the hobby and you're at that part of the hobby that you're prepping your own props and um, experimenting. You know, because you know it's a black it's a black art prepping props, and there's not a whole lot of freaking information online about it a lot of guys don't want to share their fast prop modifications i mean there is information don't get me wrong but it's few and far between you get really got to search to find it so I, you know i recommend getting the tools and just experimenting you're gonna mess up a lot of props experimenting trust me i know okay uh but once you kind of figure out kind of what's going on some some little small mods that will improve top end uh it, it'll improve your hobby your top speeds you know and um you know not not every props created the same you know like this prop i could uh work on it and then later on try to reproduce it it might not be exactly the same so this tool will help you you know match props up uh now and in the future so um hopefully i got this right if I didn't, I'll delete the video and I'll redo it. But I'm pretty sure all, all the measurements I've gotten have been pretty, pretty on par, you know. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. I appreciate you watching.